In this video, we start the chapter Data Handling by having a look at collecting data. Statistics consists of collecting, organizing, and analyzing information or data. The data is interpreted to get a better idea of a situation, an environment, or the world. The data can be collected in many different ways. You can observe or take measurements. You can conduct interviews. You can fill out questionnaires or use an existing database. The population of a set of data is the entire group that is being studied, but it's not always possible to gather the information of the entire group, and then we make use of a sample. The sample is a selection of the population, and it is very important that the sample is representative of the whole population and random. If not, the data will be biased, and biased data can be misleading. Example, conduct a survey to find out what type of sport the learners in your school like to watch. Here, the population is your whole school, and the sample should therefore represent the whole school. Here are a few examples of samples. Firstly, ask learners in your register class. This will definitely not be a representative sample because your register class is one of many in the school. Next up, learners are asked at a soccer match. Once again, this will not be representative as these learners already like soccer. Next option, learners from each class are chosen and then asked. This will be a representative sample as learners from each class in your school Will participate. And finally, ask learners from your school that live in your neighborhood. This will also not be representative as there might be learners from other neighborhoods attending your school. The data that is collected can be classified in two ways, either discrete or continuous data. Discrete data is data that is counted and therefore can only be whole numbers. Continuous data is data that is measured. These data values can be any rational number. An example of discrete data is the number of spectators at a sports match. And continuous data can be the heights of the players. In the next videos, we'll see how the data that you've collected can now be organized and interpreted.